Hello and welcome to episode 24 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking credit and lending. As always, I will timestamp the video in the description below. We have 10 minutes. Let's get started. So today we're talking the Aave protocol, cash tag L-E-N-D. That is changing, so we will talk about that. 55 cents per token, $700 million market cap. As we go to our TLDR investment thesis, let me open up the live dApp. We're, look, we're talking about an open source, non-custodial, interoperable money market protocol for the lending and borrowing of digital assets. And something I do want to note is that it's not just one money market protocol. They are allowing the building of money market protocols on top of each other, which we'll talk about in a second. So here is the live dApp. Um, as you can see, you can deposit, and here's your APY, or annual percentage yield, on your asset. You can borrow, and we have a va variable and a stable borrowing APR, annual percentage rate, um, that you will pay for the borrowing of assets. Uh, I do want to note that the stable borrowing APR is unique to Aave. I don't think anyone else in the crypto world has that just yet, so that's good to see stability being brought. Um, additionally, anytime you deposit one of these tokens, they actually turn into A tokens, Aave tokens, which are interest-bearing derivative tokens that are minted and then burned. Um, all of this is based on decentralized lending pools um, and the smart contracts around those. Two other things that I wanted to note uh, before we go over to the Google Sheet and quickly back to the historical timeline, um, they are going to be talking, uh, working towards gas optimization. Um, also, credit delegation using open law, so I can deposit a credit line to someone else. Um, staking is coming with brand new uh, tokenomics from Aave called Aavenomics, and we'll talk about those in a second. And then they are doing integration with Realty and are beginning to tokenize assets. So in this case, the tokenization of LLC property management shares in a cash flow positive company. Um, so that would be an interesting investment as well. And then to our timeline, founded back in November 2017 as Ethland, um, the protocol was live in 2020. They've risen, raised about $20 million in total in a $17 million pre-sale back in 17 and a $3 million round in July 2020. Token performance has been kind of slow um, since December 2017, all the way up until the summer of DeFi started, um, right after the COVID dip, and performance has been fantastic um, because growth in DeFi has been fantastic as well. Great. Um, have a look at the investment risk down the bottom. Um, I'm really just curious about government, regulatory risk, wrapped token risk. Is that a taxable event, the wrapping and unwrapping? Um, and then everybody's open to global macroeconomic risk, especially in the credit lending environment. Coming over to our Google Sheet, um, let's, took it, let's look at some market numbers here that I want to go through. Um, total crypto market cap is 346. I'm going to go to CoinGecko for this. Um, here's the market cap. Total stablecoin market cap is 20 billion. If we go to DeFi, DeFi is 14 billion. And actually, let's take a few off because because uh, Chainlink's uh, put in there as well. So we'll take them off. Total value locked in DeFi, I can find that on DeFi Pulse, about 10 billion. Asset backed tokens, um, something that I don't think is talked about enough, but will, I think, in the future is asset backed tokens. So CDI, compound assets, Aave tokens, synthetic tokens. Um, they're about $4 billion. Coming over to our comparables, um, I've broken it down into non-custodial credit lending, DEXs, AMMs, synthetics derivatives, risk coverage, and also then general credit lending as well. Um, before we get to the Aavenomics, I do want to touch on asset-backed tokens. Um, there's quite a lot of money now put up and invested in interest-bearing derivatives like Compound um, and Aave. So as you can see, CDI and wrapped Bitcoin um, clearly lead the market with about 1.2 and 900 million respectively. Um, but in terms of offerings of wrapped tokens, uh, Aave comes in third at 21% market share, but also has 17 A tokens. Only Synthetics has more types of assets. Um, and CoinGecko does a nice job of breaking those down. Here are all the different Aave tokens. Here are all the different compound tokens, um, top synthetics tokens, which is not much volume and uh, right now, and then also the tokenized Bitcoin market cap as well. So do want did want to run through that asset back token marketplace at the moment. Going back to Lend, let's go through the recapitalization um, and bring up their new tokenomics. We are going through a reverse token split. Every one hundred Lend 
of the 1.3 billion total supply is going to be given um, converted into one Ave token, A A V E cash tag. So that accounts for 13 million. There is also going to be an additional 3 million added to the Ave ecosystem reserve. Um, so we will have a total supply of about 16 million now. Based on today's current market cap, we can expect a price around $43, $44 per token. So every one of your 100 lend will be turned into 100 Aave tokens in the future. Um, also, we just went through ASAC back tokens. Aave A tokens account for about $873 million. Um, so the whole available liquidity ecosystem that is Aave is really about $1.5 billion. Um, which kind of lines up nicely with what they say in their DAP at about 1.7 billion. That's the total available liquidity um, in terms of A tokens. Now, is there some double counting in there? Maybe, maybe not. Um, but that's we have. It's not just the Lend token itself. It is all of the synthetic wrap tokens um, that make up a large portion of this ecosystem. Now, let's talk about some forecasts, some revenue numbers, and some ROI. Um, if I go to DeFi Pulse, we're talking revenue um, forecasts in, let me highlight this, excuse me. In the, in the section that I'm highlighting, we're going to look at two revenue forecasts today. Um, one on DeFi Pulse, if I go to the lending page, I can see this concept they've come up with of IPY, interest per year, which is simply taking our borrowing rate. So Aave's right here is 3.6, um, multiplied by their outstanding debt of 271 million to get an, an estimated IPY or interest per year of $9.7 million. And let me update my number here, 9790000. So we have some revenue estimates here. Number one from IPY, and that's what I have at the top, both compound and makers here for a total of about 82 million estimated interest per year. Then I can also go over to token terminal um, and come have a look at, I'll short by the take rate, We'll see Aave's take rate is the highest, and they've estimated the revenue at about $17.8 million. So we have two different revenue estimates here. All they've done is taken the take rate, um, or the estimated APR of 6.35 here, multiplied it by the annualized gross value of about $280 million to get our revenue estimate. So now I have two sets of revenue estimates here. Um, what I can do with those is I can take... The interest per year estimated divided by all the tokens to get an interest per token annualized of about 61 cents per Aave token. Um, if I divide that by its current market price of $43, we can see the annual token ROI is about 1.40%, um, not taking into account any sort of price appreciation based on supply and demand. This is really um, token fees or cash flow given back to the token holders of Aave. There are no nodes, I don't believe, in the Aave ecosystem, so rewards um, should be coming back to the Aave token holders. So now I've got an ROI, token ROI. I can also take the mar my market cap and divide it by that interest to get a multiple of 71. I can also take the total available liquidity um, and divide that by my revenue and get a multiple as well. Let's do the same thing with our annualized revenue um, based on token terminal. We get revenue of about 17.8 million, um, revenue per token $1.11, 2.54 annualized token return on asset. Multiple's a little lower because we have a higher um, revenue uh, estimate here and that is how we can get and we can back into from some revenue estimates back into an annual token ROI and also some market cap to revenue multiples that would be next 12 months multiples so taking that a step further we can always do a TAM approach um, and work down from the holy land and let's say the crypto market cap is worth 2.5 trillion dollars one day stable coins make up 10 percent of that at about 250 million um, based on that, I backed into DeFi and total value locked estimates based on the percentages of from today. Um, and from there, we can take our interest per year, get an estimate based on this market or all of these different market caps. And we can also get that annualized revenue, lending revenue um, estimates as well. Based on that, we can look at Aave's numbers and back into some pretty large market caps um, by, excuse me, I've left out one creek critical step. Based on all of these top-down market assumptions, I get Aave's annual IPY. I multiply it by a revenue multiple to get to my market cap, 
and that market cap or that revenue multiple is taken from my current estimates today. I've taken the average of my three comps. So I average, I multiply my next 12 months revenue, um, or excuse me, that year's revenue by my multiple from today um, to get to the market cap. And then I divide it by the number of tokens to get a token price. So that's just a fun little exercise of doing a top-down approach to back into a market cap and a token price. Um, it's kind of just more for fun, um, but just demonstrating how we can use multiples from today um, and apply them in the future. And we should be discounting those multiples and lowering them the further we go into the future. To wrap up really quickly, um, let's have a look at our valuation measurements and our portfolio subsectors. Um, it's definitely DeFi, credit lending, wrapped token play, money, pro money market protocol play as well. Something that I forgot to show you um, is that I can actually change the money market and go over to Uniswap's money market, who they've integrated with. Now, I can invest in Uni DAI slash ETH liquidity pools and get my liquidity pool tokens straight from the Aave dApp. And I don't even have to go to the Uniswap dApp. So I know they're looking to incorporate set tokens, and I hope that we could see many, many more different money market protocols building on top of Aave and innovating so that the Aave protocol grows with other protocols. And to that vein, with the tokenization of assets as well. Valuation measurements really quickly. I want to see successful Aave nomics and staking, increased UI, UX for the masses, steady loan origination growth, tokenization of affet, assets. So I want to see Realty, that partnership go well, corporate loans growth, and also money market DAP growth, which I just got into. Lastly, to finish off, we can do our little exercise. If I invest $1,000 today in the LEND token um, based on my new tokenomics of 16 million and a $43 price, we're going to get about 23 tokens. Um, and then I've just estimated here some market caps and we can see the increase in that investment in a token price and investment value and a percentage profit means as well. As always, I do think there's four outcomes for your crypto investing failure, selling the third, fourth BTC bull run and don't time the market, but get out at times when your investments are up in the coming decade, or we could be a long-term participant, staker and lender in the market and also borrower um, and be a participant. So that's my 10 minute, 12 minute rundown of the Lend ecosystem. Let me know your thoughts, especially around revenue estimates and what you're thinking. Um, there's two great resources to end up with. They have a Dune Analytics um, kind of dashboard here. That's a really good follow as well as avewatch.now.sh. They've got all of the live statistics on the platform as well. And that's where I'll end it today. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the content. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you next time. Happy crypto investing.